What's up guys? Thanks for coming back for another week of uh, SQL Server fun. You may notice a little bit of a scene change. We've been playing musical chairs in the house. Not musical chairs, musical rooms in the house. And so hopefully now I'll be in a more of a permanent background. Plus, got these sweet lights for my computer. And not only are they blue, but they also do this. Anyway, I think that's really cool, but I'm not gonna leave them strobing because that'd be really irritating. Today, I wanna talk about how I go about performance tuning a query, at least like the very first step that I take to look at, which is using Statistics IO. So Statistics IO, in case you're unfamiliar, is just reporting on the amount of data that SQL Server is reading, specifically the eight kilobyte pages that store all of the data and index information inside SQL Server. The thing that I like about Statistics IO, right, what I'll be talking about in this video are two major things. Uh, the first is that it makes it really easy to kind of use as a benchmark, as a measuring stick to see if the performance tuning changes you're making are actually making a difference or not, right? It's really easy to track. Secondly, it is really helpful when performance tuning to help isolate other stuff that's going on on your server versus the changes that you specifically are making to your query, right? So it helps kind of give you a clean test to if your changes are improving your query or not. I just realized my monitor's turned on. I'm gonna keep going. Maybe there's ghosts in the room or something, or i am just had too much caffeine and I'm moving around too much. So to turn statistics IO on, uh, all you have to do is say, set statistics IO on. It's pretty basic. Um, and what that'll do is it's session only, right? So where whichever SSMS window you run it in, that's where you're gonna see the results. And the results are gonna be displayed on the messages tab inside SSMS. And there's a good amount of information in there. Um, you know, a lot of it is useful. You can go look in the MSDN docs to see, you know, exactly what each different thing means. But the key thing that I look for in here is what's called logical reads. And what logical reads are, are basically all of those eight kilobyte pages that I mentioned. Um, how many of them did SQL Server have to read in order to be able to process the data and spit out the results that you requested in your SQL query? There's other metrics in there like physical reads, right? Which is not looking at the buffer cache like logical reads are, but physical reads are looking at like the disk and how many pages SQL Server is reading off a disk. It's not really useful because maybe sometimes pages get cached and they're in memory. And so you're not always gonna see that physical uh, disk read IO uh, occur if the data is already in memory. So when performance tuning a query, that typically means we're gonna be trying to improve the speed of how quickly SQL Server returns the results to us. And that's opposed to something like trying to minimize CPU usage on like a shared server or you know trying to minimize for uh, memory usage or something like that in a query. So if we're trying to improve performance by measuring speed, uh, one of the, the, you know, the easiest ways to measure that is just by you know, how much data is SQL Server reading and how much data is getting brought back. If we can minimize the amount of data that gets brought back, um, more likely than not, our queries are gonna be running faster. So that brings me to my first reason of why I like Statistics IO so much is because it helps track how many pages SQL Server is reading. And so if we start out with a slow performing query, we can see something like, okay, there's 200,000 pages that SQL Server had to read from this table or from this index. You know, let's try to maybe change our indexes up a bit or add an index or make sure that our query plan is optimal. Maybe statistics are throwing things off a little bit. So let's go look into that, see if there's something we could fix to get a slightly different query plan and see if the number of reads we're getting decreases. Because if SQL Server is having to read less data, regardless if it's from memory or on disk, your query is gonna run faster. So because these logical reads are so consistent um, in how they get output in Statistics I.O., it makes it a nice way to track your progress. If you do add that index, do my reads go up or down? If I, you know, change the structure of my query, maybe I rewrite it, um, you know, to do it a little differently, uh, maybe that's gonna give me fewer reads or maybe it'll give me more. Logical reads provide a nice measuring stick to tell you whether you're hurting or improving the performance of your query. So reason number two why I like Statistics IO a lot for helping me when I start performance tuning is that it helps isolate other server variables from, you know, masking whether your performance tuning techniques are actually working or not. So way back when, you know, uh, 
the quickest way to kind of test if a query runs faster or not is just watching, you know, the SSMS little time time ticking clock in the corner showing you how long a query's been executing for. And that's how I would always performance tune. And while that's not, you know, a bad way to do it for something really quick and dirty if you want to see if it's going to change or not, there's inherently a lot of problems with that. Like if there's other things going on on your server, right, a lot of other processes, a lot of other queries running, uh, they could be impacting the query that you're working on. So how can you tell if the changes you made reduced the actual, uh, the amount of time it took to bring those results back, or is it just because a lot of other processes stopped running on the server? Right, so with logical reads and statistics IO, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you can still watch that elapsed runtime to see if your query is faster or not, but the number of reads will give you a much more consistent measure of whether your query is doing less work. So another example, right, is if you're performance tuning in one environment, maybe it's a really dead server, there's nothing going on, you're the only person on it, you've got all the CPUs and memory to your disposal, uh, you make some changes, your query runs great, and then you move that query to another environment that's getting slammed, there's constant memory pressure, uh, constant you know, CPU usage, there's a lot of heavy processing going on, suddenly your query doesn't work that well. Um, maybe you would have tuned it differently um, you know, instead of just looking at time. Once again, that's where logical reads kind of really help because if you reduce the number of reads, your queries are most likely gonna run faster. So that's it for this week. Right, I just wanted to talk about statistics IO because I don't think as many people use it as they should. Right, it's, it's not the end all be all of performance tuning, right? By no means. Use your execution plans and, and you know, query store and rewriting queries and indexes and all those other things, right? You probably know how to do. Um, but at least start with statistics IO. You know, it's very easy, doesn't create a big impact on the server, and you know, it really gets down to the meat and potatoes of why your query is slow. And that's, it's, it's doing lots of reads, either because something's misconfigured or maybe something needs to be rewritten. But the point is, right, it allows you to track your performance tuning progress in an easy way. You can actually measure, is my query getting faster by reading less data? And it also helps isolate all of those other environment variables that you might be experiencing. So thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, please press that subscribe button so you'll receive these videos every week. You'll be notified of them so you won't miss any episodes on how you can improve your SQL knowledge and skills. Also press that like button or leave a comment below. I love when you guys leave comments and I can interact with you. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks.